Hi everyone, Scarlet Blades Games here, and welcome to SCP-3199 Dating Sim. Now, we've, as you know, we've decided to expand our field, our capacity for love, and the SCP Foundation just might have something right up our aisle. Now, I don't have time to read you this entire article. I'm not going to read its containment procedures, because we don't need to know that. But... Our lovely date today is a sentient humanoid species of currently unknown biological origin. Though tissue samples suggest traces of domestic chicken and chimpanzee DNA. Instances of SCP-3199 are hairless. Which you know what that means. He's not leaving any hair in the shower. No, no hair on the sink because he won't shave. This is good. <laughs> Stained with a thin layer of album. And a stand at an average of 2.9 meters, weight averages of 780 kilograms for a matured instance, and 360 kilograms for a hatching. So you know, you got plenty to cuddle. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? The necks of SCP-3199 appear dislocated and are capable of twisting approximately 340 degrees. SCP-3199 are uh, opportunistic hus hustlers. The opportunistic hustlers. Not hunters, hustlers. Engaging with live subjects with a currently unidentified radius with an array blah 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 blah. Boring. 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 Instances of SCP-3199 have been observed producing large eggs of an off-white coloration. So they're going to keep you fed. You can get fried eggs from this guy. <laughs> but everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If things go wrong, extreme blunt force trauma, extensive pressure exceeding 18... 180,000 psi, high precision blades, and long-term acid exposure. So, if things go wrong, we know what to do. But without further ado, <laughs> adieu, let's meet our lovely SCP-3199 Chicken Man. In July of 2018, an anomalous disease spread through chicken populations worldwide, causing the birds to melt into puddles of blood and feathers. Leading scientists around the world were unable to find a cure. Even the SCP Foundation, with all its experts and resources, could not wrap their heads around the strange disease. However, they did have one solution. In order to make the public believe that chicken populations weren't dying out, and to protect millions of restaurants worldwide, they found a replacement. SCP 3199. SCP-3199, with DNA similar to that of domestic chickens and a rapid rate of reproduction, was the best possible replacement. The Foundation began building farms to safely breed and transport 3199 instances, while the fast food employees all around the world were secretly trained to handle and prepare the deadly creatures for consumption. When 3199 meals were first introduced into restaurants, people detected a subtle difference in the flavor and texture from that of normal chickens, but believed it to be due to changes in the recipe. And so the world marched on, people completely unaware that they were eating some of the most dangerous creatures in human history. KFC. New, uh, we didn't trust them, did we? You are Blaze, a member of the Serpent's Hand and a long-time animal rights activist. I don't know about that. <laughs> You're aware of the use of SCP-3199 instances in restaurants that serve chicken. While you are happy to see anomalies being integrated into society, you're disgusted that their only purpose is to be bred, slaughtered, and eaten. You're determined to save as many of them as you can, even if you can only save one at a time. These animals deserve better lives. Tonight, your search has led you to this KFC restaurant. Not all chicken restaurants are serving 319 instances yet, so first you'll need to confirm this is the right place. The disgusting face of Colonel Sanders stares, stares down at you as you approach the building. You enter the door of the restaurant and are immediately hit with the smell of chicken. Colonel Sanders returns to greet you just ahead. You wish you didn't have to be here. But you're doing the right thing. There are a lot of people here tonight. You definitely won't be able to sneak into anywhere until much later. Normally, you just wait until that, that time to come here. But you need to figure out if 3199 instances are really being served here. To do that, you have to do something despicable. You'll need to order some food. You can't help but have a horrified look on your face as you give your order to the cashier. Not just because of what you're doing, but also because she might not know about the restaurant's awful practices. 
Good evening. What can I get you? Good evening. Um, I'd like to order the dead body of an innocent... I mean, I want to order a two-piece fried chicken meal. Okay, would you like a drink with that? Yeah. Give me a large Coke, I guess. I'm going to need a lot of soda to wash down my sins. <laughs> I mean, isn't that just... Isn't that just, like, going to, like, KFC or McDonald's anyway? You hate giving this establishment your money, but you don't have a choice. Your food arrives pretty quickly. You tried to order the simplest thing you could. You force yourself to take a big bite out of one of the pieces. It's been a while since you've had chicken, so you need to take a few bites just to be careful. You're sure of it. The chicken tastes like chicken, but you can tell there's something terribly off about it. And the meat is abnormally tough. This could only be the flavor of SCP-3199. That settles it. Tonight, you're sneaking into the restaurant and you're going to free as many of these innocent creatures as you can. Can we- I- Restaurants don't just keep live chickens locked up in the freezer. In general. But... <laughs> You'd bait whether or not to finish your meal. You hate to eat animals, but it would also be a waste of the creature's life to just throw the rest away. What should you do? Just throw the rest of the food away. You ultimately decide that it's best not to eat anymore. The rest of your dinner goes into the trash. You can leave the restaurant now. All you have to do is wait for the right time to sneak in. I bet that was a wrong choice. It's about 35 minutes past midnight. Okay, if it's 35 minutes past midnight, I can tell you this now. If the restaurant has closed at midnight, there are still people working in there. And they will probably not be done till at least half one, half one. At least. Okay? It's about 35 minutes past midnight. After a bit of looking around, you think you've determined that this KFC is much bigger than it seems. There's a door in the back for only employees to enter, but it's huge. You could probably fit a truck for it if you really wanted to. Just what are they doing here? Except for a few cars here and there, the road is pretty quiet at this time of night. Until the trucks arrive. One by one, free trucks arrive at KFC. It's hard to see in the dark, but you're pretty sure the labels on the side say, Succulent? chicken products. You thought no one else was in the restaurant, but a few employees came out to greet them. See, I told you, they're closing. The drivers come out and open the doors at the backs of the trucks. Meanwhile, one of the KFC employees drives out in a forklift. They all work together to carry the large cylinders out the trucks. <laughs> they seem like there might be tanks of water. The tanks are all taken inside the building to some mysterious place. You only begin moving closer when it looks like all the tanks have been emptied in from the trucks. Just before they close the doors, you sneak inside. This is a long amount of plot before the dating, can I say? It's a lot. Just as you thought, the restaurant is much bigger on the inside than it originally appeared. You're led down an inclined hallway that leads underground. After that, you find a room full of what looks like torture equipment with an elevator. What is this, Resident Evil? <laughs> this must be where they kill the chickens. After that, you find the room you were looking for. The place where the chicken men are being held. <laughs> Hello, sexy! <laughs> I, I need to purge myself of my sins, I think. Like, if, if I go to hell, this is the kind of shit I will have to answer for. <laughs> the walls are lined with round tanks filled with water. Each one contains a single instance of 3199. Some of them peck or scratch at the glass when they see you come in. It seems they can't do much in these tanks. These tanks look like they're sealed pretty tight, and you can't find any sort of control panel. You have no idea how you're going to open any of them. Actually, it looks like the lid on one of them is loose. It's too tall for you to reach, but you could probably slide it off if you had something long. You return to the room where the chickens are killed. Maybe you could find something in there. There's a broom in the corner. That should work. Using the broomstick, you push loose the lid off the tank. The 3199 instance inside notices, but doesn't try to get out of the tank. You probably need to drain the water, but how? Then you remember that the tanks are brought into the building earlier. Since they were transported by a forklift, they're probably not secured to the ground. You might be able to push it over. You try pushing the tank, but it doesn't budge. The 3199 instant inside notices your efforts, but doesn't do anything. But just as you try to push the tank anymore, it slams its body to the side. The tank falls over and the water drains. The chicken man slides out. <laughs> huh, what am I doing? The big chicken stands up and tenses up immediately. Even though you are trying to save it, it probably thinks you're a threat. What should you do? Give it a big hug to show you're not dangerous. 
3199 is so shocked that it screams and throws up an egg. The egg rolls around the floor a little before coming to a stop. So are we going to save the rest of the chickens now or what? The two of you get to work breaking the other tanks. To be honest, you're not much help. The 3199 instance ends up doing most of the work. It just it dissolves the glass on the tanks, allowing the water to drain and the 3199 instances to become active again. After that, they break themselves out. Oh gods. Okay, while you watch the 3199 you saved free the others, you can't help but notice how stunning it is. It's pretty eyes, it's thick body, it's bravery. <laughs> <laughs> this one is hard for some reason. The Slenderman one was funny. The Siren Head one was funny. First two were humanoid, right? But this one I am having trouble with. You've never felt this way about a chicken before, but 3199 has absolutely captured your attention. At first, your only goal was to save it, but now you want to know if it has accepted you. At least you know that all the chickens are comfortable around you. They don't seem to mind you being near their eggs. At this point, with all the free chicken men in the room, a pile of eggs has formed on the floor. You wonder if you could offer to help raise them. Somebody's gonna need to watch after them after they've all been freed from the clutches of KFC. Maybe you should spend this, take this moment to spend some time with the first free 199. Maybe you can get to know it better. There aren't many places where you can go on a date right now. Hey. How about you come with me for a little while? But you have somewhere in mind. You take 3199 to the restaurant's kitchen. You're not sure what you can do here, but you're pretty sure somehow you and 3199 will become closer. Does anything in this kitchen interest you? <laughs> 3199 screams and throws up an egg. The two of you stare at it for a moment. Maybe... We could build a nest. <laughs> Together, you and 3199 search for supplies and build a nest. 3199 knocks over multiple stacks of pans in its search. You find an empty deep fryer that's big enough to be used as the base of the nest. Working together, you two fill, fill it with shredded paper containers to make the bottom comfortable. You place the egg inside and 3199 piles oven mitts on top of it. You finish it off by sprinkling on some of the various seasonings around the kitchen. In the end, it looks like you tried to cook an egg, but completely failed. You're proud of it though. And you feel like you've become closer to 3199 somehow. You return with 3199 to the tanks. The last of the chickens are being freed. It's time for you to break out the chicken men. You're confident that together you can lead the rebellion. <laughs> you hope that the 3199 instances have accepted you. Attention everyone! It's time to escape this KFC forever! The chickens cheer and follow you out of the basement. <laughs> you will begin your assault on the KFC restaurant with your beloved chicken at your side. You need to make sure that no creature ever suffers here again. EAT THE TABLES! In no time, all the tables in the restaurant have been dissolved. That's a good start, but it's not enough. LAY EGGS EVERYWHERE! <laughs> the floor of the restaurant is soon covered in eggs! Huh. What else can you do? Oh, that's right. Set it on fire. The KFC goes up in flames. You've done it. The KFC is burning. No more innocent creatures will be harmed here. But what will you do now? These chickens don't have a home. You look to your friend. The first 3199 you freed. So, will you need help raising those eggs? 3199 leaves on you as it watches the KFC burn. Your life will be very different from here on out. But you wouldn't spend it with any other chicken. Good ending. What just happened? Thank you for watching. Believe it or not, I have a playlist full of creepypasta, cryptid, and now SCP dating games. If you would like to watch any more of that madness, it will be in the end card in a second, and hopefully that won't destroy your ears, or it will be somewhere. You'll find it.
you're fine and i hope you do and i hope you enjoy those other episodes if you'd like to see more stuff from me subscribe i do other stuff than this i also do horror games that are less insane uh, <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> goodbye <laughs>